Oh, good evening to everybody from far and wide, near. Greetings from Karlsruhe, where it is very, very cold. I trust that um, maybe you are in a hotter space, but I always say, nevertheless, if it's cold, our hearts are still warm for Jesus. It is amazing. We had a meeting this morning with some colleagues of us uh, that's living on the other side of the Val River, and they say that it's like 31 degrees there in the day. So I thought if we just have a, a jet or something like that, we could always fly there for the day and come home to sleep here at night. Um, I am really not um, doing good in cold. I, I don't like the cold, but nevertheless, all the seasons is necessary as we in our own lives also goes through various seasons, but still God is on the throne and God is in control. I trust it is well with everyone. Once again, as you are hopping on, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you that you tuned in for our prayer meeting. And um, I want to remind you that also on Thursday night, Robert has also got an amazing prayer meeting on. So if you can, please join. Do not miss it. I wasn't able to uh, join in last uh, Thursday night. I had another activity, but believe you me, when there is a prayer meeting and I miss uh, and I miss out, I really feel that I'm missing out. So welcome once again for all the latest people that came on. We trust God for phenomenal things to happen. Quite um, a few years ago, there was a song that says, greater things are yet to come. Greater things are yet to be done in the city. So um, for those of you that are not on my Facebook and you haven't read it, um, I would like to share what I've read this morning um, or what I posted on uh, Facebook this morning because this was very profound because I, I see daily, day by day, the enemy uh, wants to cre create fear in people's life. What if this is not going to happen? What if that is not going to happen? How? And um, he wants you to be so occupied with all the things that he would like to put in your mind that we sometimes lose our focus from God. So I want to share with this. This was, it was just so great this morning and it's very familiar all of you know that in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, God says, uh, Paul says, God has not given us a spirit of fear. So why do we fear? But he gave us a spirit of power and of love and a sound mind. Many, many times when I've got all these things that's busy and take here and leave there and I want to do 10 things together and all of a sudden I just it looks like I've shut down and I think hey okay just come take stand still breathe then I would always say Lord just give me a sound mind so uh, what it says here it is never part of God's plan for us to be controlled by fear many times we allow fear to control us and God's gift to us is power love and a sound mind no fear then he goes on and say daily we are confronted with fear and that is why we need to trust God take hold of his power take hold of his love take hold of um uh, uh, sound thinking and start to reject the fear yes i know we're living in troubled times um i know every day we have got our challenges many many of us are praying for a long time and just think lord when are you going to come through and if we just give that away then fear starts to kick in and we, we lose our focus from God. And also together with that uh, amazing verse, 
Isaiah 41 verse 13, so the Lord says, For I, the Lord, will hold your right hand. Wow, isn't that more than enough? And saying to you, fear not, because I will help you. That is now in the New King James translation. You can go and check it in other translations. So my encouragement for you and for myself tonight is, fear not. God will uphold us with his righteous right hand. And let us just come tonight with that bold confidence that no matter what, God is still on the throne. He's got everything in control. And if he's, his promises are true, and if he says, fear not, don't fear. Let's trust God for not, tonight um, with confidence um, and just hold, yield onto this. I did send a few prayer requests um, into the um, the group today, which we can pray for. And we just trust God for phenomenal outcome. Um, there's an old preacher that used to say, come hell or high water. But come hell or high water, we are going to stand firm on God's word because God's word will never disappoint. And he is no man that he can lie. So we are going to pray for all and everything as um, you felt led by the Spirit um, to um, uh, um, to pray. Pastor Etienne and Diane, I see they are on um, uh, on the call tonight, and maybe they can just share before he's going to pray a few uh, 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 seconds with you. I trust that your bags are packed because I think it is tomorrow that they are leaving for USA. So we will also pray for them for traveling mercies. And um, I believe that is not just for a visit, but for a divine God appointment. Um, so Pastor Etienne and Diane, please just know that we will have you in our prayers, each and every one. Just have a look who is the person below your name. And then remember that for the rest of the week and pray for that person. Though, even though you don't know, just ask God to keep them true, to bless them. Aurora, also so blame for your work for non summit on stay. We thank you for all the prayers um, from Aurora and Yaki. Um, Yaki um, is doing well. And uh, I think Yaki is so highly favored there because he can, uh, Aurora can bring. Um, the little um, the little dog in to lay with Yaki during the daytime. And um, it's going to be a problem if I get to hospital with my big dog laying with me. But um, we trust God for phenomenal recovery also for Yaki. What is impossible with man is possible with God. So let us declare the glory of God, the beauty of um, his name and let us just exalt his name and lift his name up and declare and I firmly believe in affirmations let us stop speaking negative let us stop speaking death over circumstances and let us start um, firmly um, pronounce our affirm affirmations and speak life over every circumstance there was the request of a person here on the call that urgently needs a job and financial outcome. There are people on the school that are awaiting funds to be released. Let's just trust God because God is able. In Afrikaans, we sang a little chorus years ago. Jesus can alles doen, alles doen, alles doen. Hij is die alpha, hij is die omega, hij is die begin en die einde. My Jesus can alles doen. So, all we in ons is ook baie blij vir jou vanavond hier te sien. Welkom, Buddha. So, let us kick off and let us start to pray. Um, I wonder, uh, Pastor Etienne, since you are going on leave, would you just open? And then maybe, Edwin, you can follow up with uh, after Pastor Etienne and maybe... Stephen, let me just see Stephen here on the call. Um, you can, if you would, please just then follow up after Edwin and we all stand in agreement. Bless you all. 
Father, we thank you tonight that we can have the privilege to come together as the body of Christ, Lord, and just spend a half an hour, Lord, and in your presence. Lord, we are so aware, Lord, it is your presence that we need. It is your presence that we hunger for. It's your presence that we thirst for. Because your word says, Lord, blessed is he that hungers and thirsts of the righteousness, for they shall be filled. And so, Lord, we want to stand upon your word tonight, Lord. We want to declare that you are God on the mountain. You are God in the valley. Lord, it doesn't matter if we turn left or right, if we go backwards or we go to the or we go forward. You are still God. And so, Lord, we want to pray tonight for every single one on this call, Lord. Lord, I'm reminded of that scripture, Lord. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. And so, Lord, tonight, that doesn't matter if it's finances. It doesn't matter, Lord, if it's healing. Lord, we don't mind whatever the request is, Lord. We want to say, Lord, we trust in you. And, Lord, we pray for peace upon every single body on this call tonight, Lord. Because when we enter the peace and the prayer, the peace of God, Lord, things starts happening. Because, Lord, then we understand, Lord, we there's nothing in ourselves that we can do. But we need to rely on you, Lord, and believe in faith, Lord, that you will make it happen. And so, Lord, I pray tonight for the for financial breakthrough. Lord, I pray tonight for those that is waiting for funds to be released. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we rebuke every blockage tonight. We rebuke every hindrance. Whatever the enemy is trying to do tonight, we say, Lord, no more. And we send it back and we say, return to send it tonight, Lord. And we speak a release of that fund right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for everyone on this call tonight. Lord, that sick in body. Lord, I pray tonight for everybody, every person on this call tonight. Lord, that is having pain in their body. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as they put their hand on that part of their body that's afflicted. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke sickness. We rebuke pain. We rebuke discomfort tonight. And we say, let there be light. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we, we, we rebuke every bit of faith. We rebuke every sickness tonight, Lord, and we speak life into them. Lord, I thank you tonight, Lord, what you did for Yaki. Lord, we thank you that you have given Aurora strength in her body to stand with him. And Lord, we speak life. We speak abundance. We speak breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And we vow tonight, Lord, to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. For you alone are worthy of it. And Lord, so I pray also tonight, Lord, that as myself and Diane are about to leave tomorrow night for the U.S., Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will bless this prayer group, Lord. I pray, Lord, even in our absence, that the very presence of God will be so present that miracle signs and wonders will happen like never before. Lord, I pray for absolute hunger for the for the people, Lord. I pray, Lord, for a financial breakthrough in everybody's life, Lord, in the name of Jesus. But more than that, Lord, I pray for an encounter. Lord, I pray that every single one on this call will encounter you in a new way, in a new dimension, in a new fresh in way, Lord, like never before, that they will have dreams, that they will have vision, Lord, that they will have purpose, that they will have destiny, Lord, like never before, Lord, they, that they would, Lord, if you speak, that they will move, if you say, if you say turn left, that they will turn left, if, they, if you say be still, that they shall be still and not move, because, Lord, it's in the stillness of your presence that you reveal the purpose. It's in the stillness of your presence that you reveal destiny. It's in your presence, Lord, that we can hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to us. And so I pray, Lord, that you would teach us how to enter the rest of God. That you will teach us how to hear the voice of God again in the name of Jesus. And I bless them all tonight, Lord, in your precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All praise, all honor, all glory 
He is the King Eternal, the King Immortal, the King Invisible, the only true and wise God, even Jesus Christ, our Savior. Lord, we come to you, to your throne of grace, Lord. We build upon the prayer of Pastor Etienne, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we can scale the mountains, Lord Jesus, with your power and with your might, Lord. Father, we commit you our days. We commit you our ways, each one on this call. Every need, every desire, every thirst, every hunger, Lord. We lay it down before your throne of grace because you are the great I am. We commit to you, Lord, our lives, Father. We commit to you every need tonight, Lord. And there are many needs, Lord Jesus. I want to thank you, Father, for making ways in the wilderness, Lord, streams in the desert, Lord. For you are the God of miracles. You are our miracle maker, our promise keeper, Lord. Lord, we look to you as the author and the finisher of our faith, Father. For in you we live and move and have our being, Lord. Outside of you there is nothing and no one to depend upon, Lord. Lord, the world is in turmoil, Lord. There is much chaos round about us. But, Father, we pray that you will help us, Lord, to find the eye of the storm, for there is peace, there is tranquility, there is quiet, Lord, and you are that eye, that eye of the storm. We thank you, Lord, that you are the master conductor, the engineer, Lord, of each and one of our lives, Father. You are the divine architect, Lord, that builds each and every one of us, Lord. You are forming us. You are making us, Lord, according to your will, your plan, and your purpose, Lord Jesus. And, Lord, we know that your ways are far above our ways, your thoughts are far above our thoughts, Lord. And so many times when we pray and things don't come instantly or we don't hear the answer, Lord, we have to remind ourselves that God's delays are not God's denials. Father, you are achieving your plans and your purposes in our lives, Lord. You are forming us to perfection, Father. Yes, Lord Jesus, like the, the piece of stone, that piece of uh, carbon that comes out the earth, Lord, it doesn't look like much. But, Lord, when you put it on the polisher's wheel and you start polishing every facet into it, Lord, with the grinding of the water and the paste flying everywhere, Lord, it all looks a mess. But, Lord, at the end of the process, you take it out of the grip and you hold it up, Lord, to the light. And that diamond shines in all its perfection with all its facets that have been polished, Lord, and so you're busy with each and every one of our lives, Lord, polishing us to perfection. But, Lord, it takes grinding first, Lord, to, to, Lord God, attain that beautiful polished stone, Father. And, Lord, it's the grinding that's painful. It's the grinding we don't understand. It's the grinding and the forming, Lord God, that, Lord, we cannot comprehend, Lord Jesus. But we know, Lord, that every problem, Lord, leads, Father, to a miracle. Yes, it was the it was the the wedding at Canaan, Lord, that where it was asked of you to produce, Lord, wine from water, Lord, which Lord started your ministry. It was the first miracle, and so, Lord God, we have our problems, Lord, but help us, Lord Jesus, to be able to change and transform these problems into miracles, Lord. For Lord, without without a problem, Lord, there cannot be victory, Lord Jesus. And so, Lord, you send these things into our lives sometimes, Lord, to bring us to a standstill, to help us to consider where we are, where we're going, and what we're busy with, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we can sometimes, we need to just sit down and take perspective again on our lives, Lord Jesus. Because sometimes we're busy with, Lord, like the Afrikaners say, with the Yerra van die dinge, and nie die dinge van die Yerra nie. Yes, Lord Jesus, you understand these things, Father. We need to be busy with you, Lord, and not so much with the things, Father, but we so get caught up with the things, and so many times we get distracted, Lord Jesus. But, Father, help us to focus, Lord. Help us to keep our focus on the person of Jesus Christ. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, we ask you, Lord, to take our hands and to lead us and to guide us, O oh God, in the paths of righteousness, lead us, Father, into all truth, Lord. Help us to unlearn, Lord God, the things that we've wrongfully learned through the ages, Lord Jesus. So many times we we accept things as the gospel, Lord, but really it's not. It's just man's interpretation 
or man's visions, Lord. And it's not at all what you intended. So, Lord, as we sit down before you this evening, Lord, with the Bible in front of us here, we pray that you would help us to listen and to understand all that we hear. Protect us from the words of the liar. Deceptions, O oh Lord God, that seem here from you. Yes, Meanings you never intended, Father. Help us to see and to know truth. We bless you, Lord. I bless each and every one. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And may the Lord give you peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crowns before you. In Tamba, my Kamen and Amanda, Liga Jesu Christ, to see a bongam talawis in two. Guizolo, Guenam Sanji, Guigus Vigna Pagati, Spongum Sawako, Spongu to Gungulunculu, the Pandle Guaqua Gecomune, you are Alpha and Omega, you are Jehovah Jaira, you are Jehovah Shama, you are Jehovah Elohim, you are Jehovah El Shaddai. Sebonga and Kosinoman Honke. Greater is he that is in us than the one that is in the world. Sunday and Kosinoman Honke, Amen, Rigaches, Kasiknego Doom, because you deserve to be praised and to be worshipped. Kosinoman Honke, and Tambamas Bongi, Tubal Vesa, Futal Vula, and Kosinoman Honke, we are so thirsty to be and to hear your word. And Kosinoman Honke, Sbongo to Kulukulo Tes will not go when two or three are gathered in your name when you call. Siabong and Cosin, we look sneaky to Belinji, let you do more cosmologue. We raise cosmic our voices to raise our hands in cosmic. Hallelujah, you deserve to be praised because of Gunkulunku. Spong good to so much it is. We lack all egg, Alan Gwenjela, who corner when gang in a sick pale in cosmologue. It was it as one who would tear so much that let us pray without ceasing at all times in cosmologue. Spong good to Gunkulunku, who sing a great trade over so as in cosmologue. It is we lack all. Before we even ask you, know customer what we need, and we provide accordingly. This bongi len kose ngwe le sikni kutu men enta mbama ngobu kungkulu kulo funu paga ingi so nkosuma la wonke. This bongi kutu masisa guwe si memeza wenu ya pendulum kulego. Lita tutu mwolo kufane le nkosuma la wonke. This bongi kutu masisa guwe si memeza wenu ya pendulum kulego. There is no distance so kunga maskulega nkosuma la wonke. There is no distance that will stop the prayer. This bongi kutu masisa guwe si memeza wenu ya pendulum kulego. It is we like each and every day you give us your grace and mercy is being renewed. This bonga kusuma tuonge uguti it is we like kusuma that your love for us doesn't depend on our performances. This bonga ilen kusuma tuonge ulungunkulungulo standard ayo na anti kusuma that is we like uguti kusuma that you didn't give us the spirit of fear. Si ya bonga kusuma tuonge uguti kungulu spirit of samanda, the spirit of love and power. Kusina matuonge sikni kutu moge sokunga. We bow before you, Kosinoman Honke, citizen Magos, in a Pagame when I'm Kosinoman Honke, Kulukulu Salin do me swing when the praises go up, Kosinoman Honke, your glory come down. Sia Bonga so glunga, Sia Bonga Dala was in Sugu, Sponga Manta, Spongo Pila, Spongo Clean on Kosinoman Honke, Mugu Kulukulu Kuruma, Kosinoman Honke, see Pegas so much at ease. We like we need to be intoxicated by your word each and every time, Kosinoman Honke, still believe a so glunga, see me. Your promises are yes and amen in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Robert, are you available to pray for us, please? Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that we can spend together. We thank you for each and every one that is joined tonight, Lord. I pray that you'll bless them. Father God, you know their wants, you know their needs. You know, Father God, what they need in their life. And I just pray, Lord Jesus, that you will fulfill their needs. Heavenly Father, we bring those prayer requests before you tonight, Lord. And I'll just bring uh, Rose, one of our prayer warriors, as well before you. 
another young suicide that happened to uh, your brother's son. Heavenly Father, this spate that's running through this country of young ones losing their lives. Father God, I just bound it on earth as it's bound in heaven, Father God. And I just pray, Father God, that you'll just comfort the family for their loss, Lord. And Father God, all the others that are going through these times, this whole depression thing is getting so, so bad, Lord. And we speak against it, Lord. We speak against it in your holy name, Father, that we can cut this out. I just pray, Lord Jesus, for especially the younger generation, Lord. I pray, Father God, that there will be a light in this desert, Lord, that they can follow you, that they can see you, that you'll light their path, Lord. Father God, I pray as well for Etienne and Diane as they go overseas. I pray that you'll just protect them, Father. I pray that you'll just give them traveling mercies, Father God, and that they may return to us again. Heavenly Father, I also pray for our government. Father God, there are so many things that are happening in the government and happening with the elections building up and political parties just starting up. But Father God, I just pray your anointing on our leaders. Father God, no matter what they think, it is what you want, Lord. And I just pray that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, not our will. And Father God, I just pray once again, and I thank you for Posse Media for starting this prayer group as well. And I just pray a blessing over her and the family. And once again, Lord Jesus, as it was mentioned before, we're just so happy that Yucky is so much better and Rora. I pray this, Father God, in your precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much. Is there anyone on the call that wants to do a short prayer? Then you can just open your mic and proceed. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. I want to say, Jesus, thanks a million. Lord, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your strength. Thank you that your word says your loving kindness is better than life. Lord, thank you that we can speak the name of Jesus over each and everyone on this call tonight. Lord, thank you that we could stand in agreement with every prayer. We covered the sick um people that need jobs, supernatural breakthrough for finances, um, for our country, for our young people. Lord, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise that we can declare tonight that you are God and there is no one like you. You are God in control, Lord. And Lord, if you are for us who can be against us we thank you lord we thank you for every promise in your word that is true yea and amen lord and we thank you that we can stand on the promises of your word that you this morning just draw my attention to this scripture verse that you said in isaiah 41 verse 13 for i the lord will hold your right hand and saying unto you fear not not for I will help you. Lord, thank you that you are our helper. Lord, I thank you that I can declare tonight you are the miracle worker. You are the promise keeper. You are the light in the darkness. Lord, I give you glory. I give you glory for every difficult circumstance that you will just step in and that you will intervene, that you will give your angels charge, Lord, to take care of every matter and I thank you I thank you Lord that we can declare tonight all things are possible with you nothing is impossible Lord 
and we glorify your name. I thank you for provision. I thank you that you raise up your children in these days, Lord, to walk close to you with our eyes just focused on Jesus, Lord. As I said many times, the enemy wants to come and distract our minds from what you have in store. And many times we miss your plan. Many times we miss our destiny because we are focused uh, on the works of the enemy but tonight as Robert said we take hold of that we bring down the strongholds of the enemy and we break his, his yokes and his tactics in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God we bind you tonight in Jesus name and we release your strength and your fresh anointing your fresh fire Lord we release your healing power we release your miracle outcome tonight Lord and I thank you that you are able to do far more than we can ever imagine or think Lord I thank you for blessings in abundance I thank you Lord that I can just um, keep my hands towards the screen and each and every person on this call tonight that I can pray that you bless them Lord that you just keep them under your blood covered under your blood that you will surround us with a wall of fire and that you will meet our needs to the glory and the honor of your name and i thank you lord i give you honor i give you praise lord lord there is no one like jehovah you are jehovah jireh our provider you are el shaddai the more than enough the god of plenty more than enough to provide in all our needs i thank you that you are jehovah rapha lord that there is no illness too big for you to heal tonight as pastor etienne said let there be light let the healing virtue flow in the name of jesus and we give you all the glory all the honor and all the praise we thank you for a phenomenal week we thank you for that that this will be the week where that we will walk in your favor lord like never before and we thank you in jesus name we thank you lord we thank you we give you all the glory all the honor and all the praise in the mighty name of jesus amen isidore i see you are on the call and i see there's five minutes left so would you please be so kind to um carry us through this five minutes and everyone thank you so much for joining the call god bless you have a phenomenal week in jesus name amen hallelujah father god we are so grateful and so thankful father god that, Lord, as your word says, we're two and three are gathered, you are in our midst, Lord. Thank you, Father, you hear our prayers. Thank you, God, that you are alive. Thank you, God, that you are faithful, you are true, Father God, that, Lord, you are sovereign, you rule, you reign, Lord God, and that, Father God, that our lives are in the, in the hollow of your hands, my God, and that nothing and no one can separate us from your love. Thank you, Father. Your love is, is steadfast, Lord. It is new every morning. Your mercies are new every morning, Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your promises, Lord. Father, it's with grateful hearts, it's with a thankful heart, Lord, that we can approach your throne boldly, Lord, because of the blood of Jesus Christ, my God, and that we can make all things known to you, Lord. And as, as the prayer request has gone out, Lord God, Father, and as it our prayers is like like it's, it's like bowls, Lord God, as your word says, Father, it's sweet smelling fragrance, Lord, our worship unto you, Father. And Lord, our prayers are caught in, bowl, in bowls, Lord God, and it's before your throne, Father. And Lord God, we thank you, Lord, that you, you are faithful, Lord, and that you hear our prayers and that, Lord, we will have victory. We will have success, Lord, in all things, my God. All things work together for the good of those that love you, Lord. And Father, the prayers of the righteous avails much, Lord. Thank you that is your spirit, Lord, that, that unction us, your spirit that, that Father God drives us, Lord, and, and calls us to pray, Father. 
and we give you praise and we thank you, Lord God, that, Father, we can lift up our voices, Lord, and that we can, Father, glorify you. We can honor you. We can sing praises unto your name, Lord, because you are God. You are our sovereign. You rule and you reign, Father. And so, Lord, we thank you as collectively, Lord, give you praise and honor, Father. Father God, as we will receive testimonies of the prayers that has gone out, Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, may we constantly, Lord God, have a hunger and a thirst of the things of, of you, Lord. And Father, desire to pray, desire, Lord, to get into your word, Father, to, to meditate on your word, Father, that it will become part of us, Lord God. Father, that your word will be alive as your word, say, as your word says, your word is alive and active and sharper than a two-edged sword, Father. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that your word, Father, is the one that strengthens us. It's your report, Lord God, that we believe and we praise you. We glorify you. We honor you tonight, Lord. Your blessing upon each and every one, Father, as, as we go into this week, Father. And as Pastor Emilia prayed, Father, Father, we will receive, Lord God, Father God, the blessings that you have purposed for our lives. Father, we pray that you will direct our footsteps. You will lead us and guide us along paths that you have set for our lives, Father, and that our lives will bring glory and honor unto you. And wherever we go, we will be salt and light, Father God, in the mighty and the precious name of Jesus with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Your blessing, Father God, to rest upon us throughout this week. We praise you and we give you glory and honor. Amen. 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 Thank you once again for joining us. Have a wonderful week and we trust God and remember to pray. Let us pray for each other um, without ceasing. Uh, uh, that is all that can carry us through. You are a winner. You are a champion. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And remember that you are anointed with the wild favor of God and that God is um, putting you right in front. You are above and not beneath. And you are moving forward, not backwards. And we give God all the glory, all the honor for what he is about to do in your life in this week, in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in. See you Thursday night. God bless you. Shalom.